Hey everybody, this is the introduction to the drum tutorial for At The Cross, parentheses, Love Ran Red, from Chris Tomlin and many others. Uh, we're doing this song at the uh, tempo of 73 BPM, but the way that we have the click structured, and this is on eighth notes, so you can, uh, if you don't have an eighth note setting on your uh, metronome, you can just go to straight 146 quarter note, and that will um, basically allow you to uh, play the click in the way the tutorial video is. Um, the reason why we set it to eighth note is I found kind of a little bit of a hack with click is you always get the click to match whatever your right hand is doing. So if you're playing a groove that's like this, an eighth note groove, it's way better if the click's hitting with that instead of like a click that's going like this and then you're trying to match your hi-hat with that. That leaves a lot of room for swimming. And so one hack is always to set your, set your click at the same tempo that your, that your right hand is going. Or if you're a lefty, if you're one of the, the other guys, you want it, whatever your hi-hat or ride symbol is gonna be, keep it at that syncopation. Um, the basic thesis behind this uh, groove that we've put into uh, our version of At The Cross is kind of all around 16th notes and eighth notes. We never break away from that pattern once the drums come in. So you're gonna hear a cymbal swell at the top, there's gonna be eighth notes on the ride, and then once we get into the verse two groove, everything is kind of all about 16th notes between your left and right hand, and the syncopation never changes. So when we get to the verse two groove, it's like. Right? Four on the floor on the kick. Just keep four on the floor going, right? And then this is just like straight 16th. If I'm gonna play the drum groove without the floor and without any of the drums, just on a rim, it's just. Right? That's if it was all on the snare. stays the same in chorus too. The only difference is we're gonna add a hit there, but you don't have to. If it's above your pay grade, don't worry about it. Just keep it like this. We play that the whole time and our fills will never break away. You'll notice some of the fills will just keep the 16th note pattern going and our foot doesn't stop playing four on the floor. always 16th notes. It makes it super easy. One of the other tricky things that is really good to do is knowing how to stage a build. So as we're doing a build in worship music, it's a popular kind of arc to bring a bridge down and to ramp it up through a build. So you want to stage your builds. Builds usually happen in three sections or four sections. In this song, I'm going to give you the sections. This is section one, four on the floor, and then you're on eighth notes. Remember your click track is set to 146. And then add your kick. That's section one. Section two, hands stay the same. Kick goes to eighth notes with you. What that does is that adds intensity, that adds low end, it gives the perception of momentum, okay? Section three is going to be basically a 16th note build on snare and cymbal. So, And then we release, we, this is basically just called a release, and we release into the groove, and, and that's really the last section of uh, rhythms in the song. Chorus three and the outro both have a pattern that goes like this. So those are your three to four sections of all the parts of the song. Verse grooves that are all about 
kind of like um, marching snare, 16th notes with eighth note, four on the floor on the kick, right? And then we just ramp up the build and then we have the outro groove. So uh, we'll be putting all this together in a live performance video so you can click through to the next video and check it out.